in a way, it's sort of a diary of my travels and places and people that I found uh, profound and inspiring to me. Legendary photojournalist Steve McCurry met up with fans to discuss nearly 30 years worth of photography exhibited at the Cavalier Galleries in Greenwich Thursday night. McCurry's photographs capture images of humanity and culture throughout the world, but he's most commonly known for his photograph of the young Afghan refugee girl with striking green eyes, which became National Geographic's most celebrated magazine covers and one of the most recognized images in the world. He walked into the schoolroom and there he saw Shabbat. She had never been photographed, so instinctively she covered her face. And the teacher came over and said, it's okay, he's here from the West to help us. You, you, you may photograph him. And then she turned to the side and he shot the next image, which became the iconic image. The legendary photograph was taken in 1984 in Pakistan during the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan. McCurry says it became the symbol of Afghan refugees. There were two or three million refugees flooding into Pakistan. Uh, so it was uh, an important story, a story that was important to tell. Afghans are very proud of her and, and what she stood for. My take on Steve is he's fearless, okay? We're talking about the first Western photographer to go into Afghanistan during the Soviet occupation. After nearly 18 years, McCurry was able to locate the same young woman in the photograph. From there spawned a tremendous outpour in American aid. He tells us with all the thrills he's experienced, he doesn't plan on stopping. I, I want to go to places that inspire me. I intend to do exactly, you know, in the future what I'm doing now, which is travel, photograph, uh, work on exhibitions and books. In Greenwich, Priscilla Lombardi, it's relevant.com.